Mitch. And Mitch asks, he says, you mentioned Harvey Weinstein. I don't think I mentioned him today, but I have mentioned him in the past. Assuming that everything he did was consensual in the most literal sense of the world, do you see anything he did as immoral? Yeah, I mean, the guy's completely and utterly, thoroughly immoral, even if it was consensual. Morality is not about what you do with other people, primarily. Morality is what you do with yourself. And he is a world-class creep, an irrational emotionalist who views sex as superficial and materialistic, and that's him all. To have sex with women when they don't really want to have sex with you, to have sex with women when they when you're you're basically blackmailing them. Let's assume that it was consensual that he didn't literally force them at a point of a gun. Is morally wrong, even if you didn't rape them. It's the equivalent of rape from the perspective of morality, even if it's not the equivalent of rape from the perspective of legality, and the two are not the same. Morality is not about, morality is not primarily about the use of force against other people. That's the altruist perspective on morality. The egoist perspective of morality is, how should you live? What should be the standards for your life to make your life the best that it can be? How do you live up to what it means to be a human being? to what it means to flourish as a human being, to what it means to be a rational being, a conceptual being. What does it mean to have self-esteem when the sex you have is because women want you to give them a role in a movie? I mean, imagine that they, they flip it. Imagine you're having women, you're having sex with women, and they're seducing you because they want a role in a movie. And you're having sex with them because they're pretty. That's not a moral way of living. I mean, read what Ayn Rand says about sexual promiscuity. And I think she's right. I mean, I'm not a sexual prude at all. But the playboy is not a moral character in Ayn Rand's view, and Weinstein is much worse than a playboy. Uh, capitalist Nick, I saw, but I'm in the middle of answering another $20 question, so I can't do yours before I finish that one. Um, <laughs> but thanks for the $20 question. I'll get to it in a minute. So y you can't live a moral life by manipulating other people. You can't live a moral life by exploiting other people. And while he didn't use force against them, maybe, let's assume that's true, he exploited them. It wasn't win-win. Engaging in purposefully in non-win-win transactions is not mal. It's not living up to the highest standards that you could live up to. It's not living up to you Living the best life that you can live. So, and, and put aside this idea of, 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 of masturbating uh, in, in front of women who don't want you, to, who, don't, who are not interested in this, you know, it's not some, you know, who, who are offended by it, who don't like you, who find you pretty despicable and disgusting. I mean, the whole thing is, this is a guy who has, no self-respect, no self-esteem. He's really a low, in, in, in this sense, in his sexuality, a low human being. And, and I read, I think it's an Atlas Shrugged says, show me the person you sleep with and I'll, you know, that tells you everything about your, in a sense, moral character. And look at what, who Harvey Weinstein slept with, how he slept with him, how he got them to sleep with him. And it tells you everything you knew, know, need to know about his moral character. He's a disgusting human being. All right. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be 
any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.